Today with Blackboard, I would like to show you how to modify the course menu within a brand new Blackboard container. To begin, I think it would be wise to break down the Blackboard user interface so we have a better idea with what we are working with. Move over to the right hand side of the screen. You will see the edit mode feature. With the edit mode feature turned on, you will have the ability to create and edit content within your course. With the edit mode feature turned off, you will no longer have the ability to create or edit content within your course. However, what you will see is the student view. This is the view that your students will see when they log into your course for the first time. Let's turn the edit mode feature back on and you will notice over in the course menu that there are two links, a faculty read this link and a tools area link. Turn the edit mode feature off and you will notice that the faculty read this link has now disappeared. When you are creating content for your course, it is important for you to proofread your work by turning the edit mode feature off to make sure that everything you want your students to see is displayed correctly. Turn the edit mode feature back on and refer to the left hand side of the screen. What you see here is the course menu. The course menu is the primary way your students will navigate your Blackboard course. To the right is the content area. The content area displays all of the content that you create for your Blackboard container. This is where your students will be doing most of their work. Under the course menu is the control panel. The control panel will allow you to control other elements of your Blackboard container. Take note that the control panel is for instructors only and students will not see the control panel when they access your course. Let's move on and learn how to modify the course menu. Within the course menu there are two types of links that you need to be aware of. First is a tools link and second is a content area link. A tools link provides access to some of the major features that Blackboard offers. A content area link is basically creating a folder where you can create the content for your course. The tools area section is an area that contains all of the tools that Blackboard offers. The faculty read this section is a content area link. You can tell it's a content area link because of the black content area menu bar that is located under the title of your content area. Now that we know what the two major types of links are, let's learn how to create a tools link. Click on the black plus button within the course menu and click on tool link. To start off, let's create a tools link for announcements. In the name field, type the word announcements to name your link. The type of tool we want is already selected so we can skip that. Finally, make sure that the Available to Users option is checked. Click Submit when you are finished. Any link that you create within the course menu will be at the bottom of the list. However, Blackboard provides an easy way for you to reorganize the course menu to fit your needs. Let's move the Announcements link to the top of the menu and let's move the Faculty Read This link to the bottom of the menu. To do this, hover your mouse over the up-down arrow that is located to the left of the title, Announcements. Click and drag your mouse upwards to move the Announcements link to the top of the list. Repeat this same process for the Faculty Read This link, but this time, click and drag your mouse downwards to move it to the bottom of the list. Next, let's learn how to create a content area link. Click on the black plus button and select content area. Let's name this content area link assignments and this time let's leave the available to users option unchecked and then click submit when you are finished. As we learned in the previous step, move the Assignments link under Announcements. Next, hover your mouse over the two icons that are located to the right of the title Assignments. 
notice that one of the icons states that this link is hidden from students and the second icon states that this link has no content if you turn the edit mode feature off you will notice that students will not see your assignments link turn the edit mode feature back on and refer to the option arrow button that is located to the far right of the title assignments this particular option arrow button controls the menu options for the assignments content area click on the option arrow button and you will see that you have the options to rename show or delete this link altogether in this instance click on show link so students can see this content area let's turn the edit mode feature off to verify our work notice that while we specifically stated that we wanted students to see the assignments link it still does not show turn the edit mode feature back on and then click on the assignments link the reason why the assignments link does not appear for students is because there is no content within the assignments content area. Students will have the ability to access this link once you upload content to this particular content area. When creating links within your course menu, it is very important to pay attention to the icons that may appear to the right of the link. To continue, let's create one more tool link for this container. Click on the black plus button and select tool link. Let's create a link to the discussion board for this tool link and in the name field type in discussion board and then click on the type drop down menu. Here you will see a list of all of the tools that Blackboard offers. Click on the discussion board tool to select it make sure that the available to users option is checked and then click submit when finished next move the discussion board link right under the assignments link finally turn the edit mode feature off to see the students view and confirm that the discussion board tool link is properly displayed that concludes this tutorial on how to modify your blackboard course menu